Stunning results on these two engravings. One is surface engraved and one is depth engraved. Hi everyone and welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg and in this video I'm going to be using the dual laser source Laser Pecker 5 to create two large wood engravings. To accomplish this I'll be using the slide extension that more than doubles the work area of the LP5. Let's get started by unboxing the slide extension and installing it on the LP5. The slide extension is going to increase the stock work area of the LP5, that's 120 by 160 millimeters, to 160 by 300, more than doubling the work area of the LP5. The laser machine has enough travel upwards that I can easily place the slide extension underneath. If I have some really tall work material that I'm using, I can also use the included height adapter. For today's video, I won't be needing this, so I'll set it off to the side. That looks good. And just simply place the slide extension underneath. Using the included USB cable, I'll connect the slide extension up to the LP5 using any one of the three USB connections on the back of the LP5. Well, that was certainly quick and very easy to get the slide extension connected up to the LP5. And the ease of connection continues once we move into the computer using the free LDS software. Let's check it out. I'm on the main project screen and the first thing I need to do is connect to the device up in this corner and it's going to be located right here. I'll click on that and I should hear the machine beep in just a second. There it is, meaning that it's connected. And this is that base work area of the machine, 120 millimeters by 160. And we want to activate the slide extension accessory. For this, I'll go up to this little uh, setup gear and click on that and we'll go into mode setting and we'll activate the slide extension. And I get this pop-up, just making sure that it's powered on and it did return to the home position, which it did. That looks good and I'll click OK. And another beep, meaning that it connected. Being able to connect the accessories up to the machine using those simple USB cables makes it so easy to connect accessories up to the machine. And with just a couple clicks, here is our new enlarged area, work area of 160 millimeters by 300. That's pretty cool. And now we're ready to start creating with the machine and the slide extension. This all took just a couple minutes to unbox and get set up on the machine. I've loaded in my first graphic. This is a graphic that I obtained through my uh, Adobe software license that I use for editing photos and videos just like the one that you're watching. But if you're also looking for inspiration for other images, this software package does include a whole library of built-in clip art within the LDS software. We have all of these choices and then all of these different things that I can click on. If you'd like to use clip art or artwork beyond what's included with the LDS software, another great free site for high quality images is pixabay.com. For now, we've got this loaded in and I need to find some settings on here. So let's go over to laser engraving settings and I'm going to keep the resolution at 1K, laser source at 450, which is going to be the blue laser diode unit inside of this machine, that is 20 watts. Going to do one pass, power at 95%, and the depth, I think I'll turn that to about 35%, and I think this all looks good, and now I can load in my wood blank, frame it out, and get started on this first engraving. 
I have my material attached to the slide extension with some double-sided tape on the back, and that's because my work material isn't perfectly flat. Now ready to hit the preview button and make sure that the laser is going to be correctly on the material. I'll hit that preview button, and that's going to give me the start line. Now in real life, that is just a solid blue line, but maybe with the camera and the shutter speed and stuff like that, it shows up as a dancing blue line. Just know that in real life, it's a solid blue line. And within the LDS software, I'll hit the continue button, and that'll give me the working area of my project. That looks good and I'll connect the air purifier up to the laser machine and we'll get this project started. This looks absolutely brilliant and just check out all of that clean, crisp detail all the way through. I had this file set up so that it would grave each individual part of the leaf. That way we could check out the shuttle action of the slide extension and it kept perfect registration from top to bottom and all the way across the project. Everything kept in a perfect alignment. I have the next blank loaded into the machine. I framed it out just as I did on the first project and let's jump back into the LDS software and check out the graphic for this next project. I found this graphic that is free with my Adobe subscription. I'm going to be doing this engraving as an image. And I also want to shake things up a little bit more on this engraving. I want to actually engrave some depth into the wood. So I've increased the resolution from 1K to 2K, and the power level is at 95%, and then graving depth has more than doubled from about 30% on this first project, now to 65%. All I need to do from here is turn on the air purifier and get the project started. The engraving turned out perfect. I was looking for a nice, deep, bold engraving, and that's exactly what I got. We check out the top here and just check out that engraving depth. I also have some nice, neat shadowing from the wood grain underneath, and normally on a project like this, I would clean all of this up with some LA's Totally Awesome, but I'm really digging the way that I get all of these shadowing lines across this piece of work. So instead, I'm going to finish it off with a coat of some Minwax Spray Polyurethane. Thanks for joining me in this video. I had an awesome time working with the LP5 and the slide extension to create these two awesome looking projects. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Not only is it a great way to help the laser channel grow, it's an excellent way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. Until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.